going to be giving you some tips on how to maximize your singleness. Yes, it's February. It's, you know, love month, black history month, all the things. And um, yeah, we wanted to help those of us that are, you know, out here in these streets as singles like us. Um, we definitely have a lot of experience with navigating singleness and we wanted to, you know, be a bit of encouragement to you guys that are also in the same boat with us. So we got five tips for y'all. So I'm gonna let Ruby kick it off and we're just gonna kind of piggyback off each other, try to keep this short and sweet for you guys. Tip number one is to treat yourself. Now, if you don't already do this, I'm not sure why, but look, self care. Self care. Yeah, we call it self care, but self -care. it's treating yourself. Look, you're single. Mm -hmm. Your coins is your coins. Like, use that to your advantage. You know, once you get married and or you have kids, if you don't already, you already know that a lot of your money is going to be, you know, having to be split toward other responsibilities. So right now, you are your own responsibility, mm -hmm. and I think part of our responsibility as human beings is really to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So you can go above and beyond with this while you are single. Yes. Get your nails done, get gel, you know, <laughs> like Some eat out. Last. I was a big fan of dip prior to quarantine when I get my nails done. Like dip, it lasts, y'all. I kept my nails anyway. Um, that's besides the point. But yeah, um, all of the, do all the things. This is the one time where I feel like it's very acceptable to be a little selfish. I mean, not to neglect um helping others but like you know this is the one time where your attention is not divided amongst mm -hmm. other responsibilities that you have in life right now you're only responsible for yourself so just just be a little selfish it's all good so the second tip is to invest in yourself now that will look different for different people mm -hmm. based on what your goals may be but just some examples of investing yourself that means maybe going to school or going back to school for a career change, actually like going towards your goals, mm -hmm. um, working out, eating healthier, growing spiritually with the Lord because you do have, you're not going to have this much time with him <laughs> later on in the future. Mm -hmm. So really taking advantage of your, your relationship with him. Um, personal, go oh yeah, obviously. Go to therapy and counseling, guys. Yeah. I used to do that when you're married too. But when you're <laughs> single, like actually... Take care of yourself in that way so that you can be like a whole, well-rounded, healed person for when you do meet the person that you want to spend your life with. Absolutely. I feel like um, a few years ago, I really made it adamant to really invest in myself to just overall be a better person. So I was looking for new ways to invest in myself. I work in finance, so I finally opened a brokerage account. You know, start stacking now. Like, you want to have a family, you want to be married, so start saving for that now. Start saving for your wedding now. Like, why not? Even if nobody else is in the picture. If you have uh, the faith to believe that God will, you know, see you through and get you to that place, then go ahead and invest in faith now for your future goals. And just in general, like, be financially well-rounded um, so that way you can carry over good financial principles into your relationship and into your family so you can set your kids up for life before they even hear, like, invest like do, right. do all of the things and then yeah also aside from just actual finances find ways to you know improve yourself like i definitely we met um through a financial spiritual investment <laughs> if you haven't seen our first video of how we met i'll link it up in the cards but we met through a program called the one university which it does involve in a financial investment but it also impacted our spiritual growth and our singleness journey so um Find something of that nature. It doesn't have to be related to singleness, but just something mm -hmm. that's of interest to you. You to might help make you. some new friends. You never know. I mean, <laughs> look at us. Look at God. So find ways, guys. It's it's worth it. I promise it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. Tap into hobbies. Yes. Okay. I find that a lot of adults don't have hobbies. Like we got to Okay, we're quarantined right now, so it's a little bit harder. But try to find something that you're interested in because... We all have gifts and talents or try something you've always wanted to try that you can do once this pandemic is over. And it'll be also good for you to have once you do have a relationship or have kids because your identity cannot be in being a spouse and a parent. You still have to be your own person. So finding things that are interesting to you or just trying something completely new is also a great way to invest in yourself. Growing, flourishing, well, well, y'all. Well. The third tip is to travel. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> of course, we can't really do that right now. I mean, some people have still been traveling, so kudos to y'all for having the the boldness and courageousness to be out here traveling. Like, 
I'm vicariously living through you, but of course we want everybody to be safe. We're not advising anybody to do something before it's, you know, deemingly safe. So, um, when you can't travel, even if it's not, you're not ready to fly, take a road trip. Like I definitely plan to get in at least one road trip this year because I, I need to go somewhere. Like I miss traveling. <laughs> so that was one thing, like I definitely adapted a couple years ago, like let me just go somewhere. Like, you're not going to be able to just pick up and go as frequently once you got a husband and some kids. Like, I mean, you can, but it's just, it's not, know, it's not as effortless. Yeah. It's a lot. It requires a little bit more planning. Yeah. <laughs> Tip number one, and as finances, you said, too. So that's why you're responsible for yourself best. right now. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. so that's the best way to go. Yeah. So as she said, travel responsibly mm -hmm. if you are. But definitely get some trips in. Even if you got to be a tourist in your own city for a little bit, yeah. that's fine. Just get out of the house. Experience some things. Spend your money. I'm a huge advocate. Like, I don't believe in not using PTO. So take your days <laughs> off and go do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll be fun, you guys. Yes. Just make the best of the circumstances. We wish that we weren't in a COVID pandemic situation right now. But still, like, we have a time off, so use it. You know, do something and enjoy. <laughs> so our fourth tip is to cultivate and cherish your friendships. And that is so, so, so important. Mm -hmm. You guys, you have to take advantage of the friendships that you have right now. Mm -hmm. And although the relationship will look a little bit different, once you are married, you're still going to need your friends. Like your yes. spouse cannot be everything to you. Mm -hmm. It's important that you have friends who will continue to encourage you, to support you, to call you out when you're being a little bit unreasonable <laughs> like you need to invest in these relationships because they are a part of who you are and the reason why you are so great right now absolutely like i love 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 like all of the friendships i've made like i got some gems y'all like she one of them so <laughs> definitely like i'm so grateful for how my friends have poured into my life and helped to shape me to be who i am now and it'll make me an even better person because friendships is a relationship and you are already kind of building the foundations of how you would act in marriage obviously there's a difference there there's no romantic connection with your friendships but you're still you want to be friends with your spouse too so like you're learning how to be a good friend to your spouse in the future too by you know cultivating and really cherishing the friendships that you do have and putting forth that effort to make things work. Adult friendships are hard. Like <laughs> adulting as it's it, it puts a different type of pressure on your friendships versus, you know, back in the childhood days, you know, if we were in the same class or went to the same summer camp, oh we friends. But no, like in adulthood, you really have to put in effort to maintain healthy and thriving friendships. So take that time if you do, if you're in a space where you don't even have some friends really pray and ask god to put you in a situation environment where you can you know begin to cultivate friendships that are like-minded that your friends don't always have to be like you know exactly like you. you want friends that are different so you can bounce off of each other learn do things off of each other but you definitely want to be around people that have the same visions and goals that are moving forward in life versus people that are stagnant let's say birds of a feather flock together so you want to be flocked with people that are elevating so make sure you surround yourself with some good people and the fifth and final tip for maximizing your singleness is to tap into your purpose so guys we're here for a reason okay like yes we we want to do all these fun things which we should but god put us on this earth for a bigger purpose and that's something that we should tap into while we're single mm -hmm. like for one once you are in a relationship we already mentioned a bunch of times it's very easy for your identity to kind of be put into that spousal or that parental role mm -hmm. which yeah that is a part of your calling but that's not everything that mm -hmm. you are so while you're single while you have this time to be by yourself and to have this alone time with god hey tap into what it is he wants you to do like, um, we did a video before that talked about a book that we both have read that has helped each of us tap into mm -hmm. what it is the Lord has for us in our lives. And I guess we will go ahead and link that as well. Yes. But really bigger book it'll be you. linked Definitely. up here because we recommend it. Out and we highly recommend that book. It's yeah. very instrumental in both of us, both of our lives and how we are moving forward and making purposeful moves in our lives. Some changes are more drastic than others. Like, you know, it depends on what state you're in and where you want to go um, mindset-wise. And I can definitely say that it's definitely pushed me beyond 
what I thought was possible. So I'm like so grateful for that, you know, kickstart. Like I knew in 2020, like I needed a change and um, it definitely helped me get to like, okay, this can be become reality now. So definitely take advantage of this time that you have where it's just you and God and really seek what it is that he desires for you to do as an individual before he adds on more to your calling and your purpose that he has for you while you're here. So that was all of our tips, all five. We hope they are helpful and a blessing to somebody that is trying to navigate the remainder of their few years. You don't know how much longer you're going to be single, but you know, hey, okay. <laughs> I feel like these are relevant for pretty much anybody. Um, male or female. I know we, we are obviously leaning more towards helping women because that's our experience. But still, I feel like guys can take advantage of these tips as well. So, um, yeah, we hope y'all enjoy. Any other additions? Not really. I think the biggest thing is to stay open. Yeah. You know, that's not put singleness in a box in the same way that we're not going to put marriage into a box. It's like, there's so much for you to experience. So stay open to those experiences and let us know in the comments if there is a way that you have been taking advantage of your students as well. Because yeah. hey, we're always looking to grow yeah, and to have more fun in our group. So um, take full advantage, you guys. But we hope y'all enjoy. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all of the things. Happy Love Month, Happy Black History Month in February. And 2021 is already like going by. It's flying by already. It's crazy, y'all. So we will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, Bye everybody.